So Bill, I understand that F21 is not an old wine, in a new bottle. No, you're right, sir. Uh, actually, um, the F21 uh, does build on a very large and successful uh, uh, fighter um, uh, family, if you will, and, and history of capability. Um, but what's important to understand about the, the F-21 is that as a fighter, although the aircraft structure might look familiar with some of uh, its predecessors, uh, the, the, difference becomes, the differences in the value become very clear when you're looking at the unique capabilities in the F-21. I would say, firstly, the uh, APG-83 actively uh, electronically scanned array, IESA radar as it's known, um, is incredibly effective at detecting threats at ranges nearly double that of the previous mechanically scanned array radars. Um, that gives capability to the pilots to um, both track and attack more tar targets than with much greater precision. Um, secondly, uh, we've developed also uniquely for India uh, an enhanced survivability against ground and air threats that are detected. Uh, we have a long-range uh, infrared search and track, IRST as it's known, enabling pilots to detect threats without getting themselves detected, and that makes them much more effective. Now ultimately, as a, as a fighter and as a pilot, you're, you're trying to deliver uh, uh, um, uh, on a mission which oftentimes puts uh, missiles on target whether it's air to air or air to ground. And, and so uh, with the F-21, very uniquely, it has a triple missile, triple missile launcher uh, adapter. So it allows F-21 to carry 40% more air to air weapons. Uh, and a dorsal fairing also is on the structure that you can see that provides a much greater increased growth cap capacity and, and also allows us to with some of these changes, significant changes as I've summarized, to indigenize uh, some of these improvements to, to really come up with the most advanced uh, single engine fighter uh, that we could have on offer. Very well explained, sir. Okay, thank you.